watching God's Word for You Today program, an online Bible teaching ministry of Maranatha Baptist Church, Villamonte, Bacolod City, Philippines. This program is designed to make the time-tested, solid Word of God relevant to your life's need today. God's Word for You Today is found in Furthermore, then we beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by the Lord Jesus, that as you have received of us how you ought to walk and to please God, so you would abound more and more. For you know what commandments we gave you by the Lord Jesus, for this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that you should abstain from fornication, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor, not in the last of concupiscence, even as the Gentiles which know not God, that no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any matter, because the Lord is the avenger of all such, as we have also forewarned you and testified. For God hath not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. He therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man, but God, who hath also given to us his Holy Spirit. But as touching brotherly love, you need not that I write unto you, for you yourselves are taught of God to love one another. And indeed you do it toward all the brethren which are in Macedonia. But we beseech you, brethren, that you increase more and more, and that you study to be quiet, and to do your own business, and to work with your own hands, as we commanded you, that you may walk honestly, honestly toward them that are without, and that you may have lack of nothing. Here the Apostle Paul wants the Christian in Thessalonica to abound more and more in their life which is pleasing to God. Now, the topic that we'll discuss today is about pleasing God and uh, how we ought to please God. So here we have at least three ways for us to make our lives pleasing to God. Well, first of all, in uh, verses 1 up to verse number 8, it uh, suggests to us that in uh, pleasing God, we ought to be living in holiness. We ought to live in a holy kind of life that is abstaining from sensual lusts, from worldly pleasure. The Lord had called us to, to sanctification and not to uncleanness. So fornication uh, connotes uncleanness to our body, uncleanness to our relationship to the Lord. And of course, not only to the Lord, but also to other people. So when we commit uh, fornication, we make dirty ourselves, our lives. So that's why we need to live in a, in a sanctified way. The Bible says holiness. Holiness means separation from all worldly lusts or worldly pleasures. So holiness means to, to have a life set apart for God only, for God himself, for the work which God wants us to do. Now we are in our time today, the temptation to live for uh, the world and for its lusts is very strong. We have a very strong exposure to this kind of worldly lusts. But again, the Apostle Paul says, we ought to abound more and more in our sanctification, in our holiness, by keeping us to fornication. So why we live in holiness? Well, it is because God wants us to please Him, to please God. And of course, wa God wants us to obey Him, to obey what He wants. And it is to be sanctified for Him and to be sanctified from the world, the worldly lusts or pleasure, to glorify God. God wants us that uh, our body would be a, 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 an instrument for His glory. And of course, don't you know that the people who are uh, practicing fornication, like adultery or homosexuality and other kind of sexual lusts have their own condemnation. God prepared judgment for those who are fornicating their lives, their body. And so we need to live a holy kind of life, a life separated for God only, separated from sin and from the worldly 
lasts and we should live only for God. So to live pleasing to God is to live in holiness. Number two, we need to live in uh, harmony. In harmony. Or in other words, in unity. Well, the Apostle Paul here said in verse number 9 and 10 to have a brotherly love. Touching brotherly love. So God wants us to have this kind of love to each other. All Christians have one origin and it comes from the Holy Spirit who made us alive through Christ Jesus. In other words, we belong to a one family. We belong to one author of life and it is God who gave us life. The Bible says, uh, but as many as receive him to them, he gave the power to become the children of God. All of those who trusted Christ as their Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit add us into His body, the church, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, we ought to live in harmony. What, what kind of life so that we may live in harmony? That is love. A life which is characterized by love. The word for love has its four different connotations. One is eros, which is physical love. And uh, this kind of love is very uh, common to the world's usage. The world uses this kind of term, love, which is eros or physical love, which connotes physical enjoyment, physical uh, pleasure. Uh, another word is the storge or the family love. We ought to love our family because the love of the family members is also called love and it is storge. And we ought to love our family. But this is not actually the Bible is talking about. Another one is the philia. And philia is this friendship love. It acts seriously. It uh, will go to agape, which is God's love or unconditional love. And this kind of love, the Apostle Paul wants us to do. It is to love as a brother or as a brethren that we will increase more and more in this kind of love. In other words, we act as like a brother. We ought as like uh, a family members because of our God. So with this kind of life, life which is motivated and acted by love, we can please God. And then lastly, another way to please God is to live in honesty. How to live in honesty? Well, the Bible says in verse number 11 and 12, a good testimony. A good testimony uh, to the people around us. Well, to the Christians, sharing. And of course, to the unbelievers, Apostle Paul said, we ought to do our own business. And it is work. We need to have a diligent hand to work with all of our hearts so that people will see that we have no lacking of something or of needs because God is really blessing us if we are working diligently with all our hands irregardless of what people are doing. If people are not diligent, if need, people are not faithful in their work, then Christians should work, should be faithful in work as to the Lord so that we may not be lacking. And then after that, we share the blessings of the Lord as His blessing in our hands that work. So these are the ways to please God. Live in holiness, live in harmony, and live in honesty. This is God's word for you today.